Greetings, Kerbonauts. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and it has been a little bit more than a year since I started playing, so I thought it would be cool to take a look back at stuff that I've done and how it all began. So I've got my window open over here, looking at my YouTube video list, and I see as I go back to the very beginning, this all started because I saw Reddit challenges, and rather than just posting pictures of Reddit challenge attempts, I wanted to do videos and so the very first thing I have here is a reddit week 58 challenge I also did a 57 and a week one uh, I joined when it was at week 58 and so that was the first to, or 57 I don't know it was around that time so those were the first ones that I did. And then shortly after that, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun if I started to do some weird, wacky things that now when I look back are a little bit strange, like Jebediah goes to the moon on a jet rocket. And then later I did Jebediah goes to Paul on a jet rocket. And I thought that those were going to be really funny and people would watch those. And well, I don't know, I've, I've learned a lot since then, let's say. And then I got into making tutorials. And I know Scott Manley does a whole bunch of tutorials, but I was doing these specifically for friends at work. I thought that they would find it a little bit more personable if, I, if they were coming from me rather than somebody that they didn't know. So I did various stuff about using MechJeb and rendezvous and moon landings and stuff like that through a Reddit week 60 challenge in there as well some docking tutorial, and then I wanted to have something for my main page on my channel. So I did this thing, it was based on this other video I saw called uh, To the Moon, Mars and Beyond. That's what it was. So I took the music out of that and I made my own version in KSP. And then still did some more tutorial type stuff, but honestly those early tutorials, my sound was bad and I was a little bit drier as a announcer of what I was doing, I think, than I am now. I also didn't narrate all of my stuff all the time. I kind of wish I had narrated this min miss Kethane base construction and made it longer and more interesting. I think this one was actually something people liked watching, and I think they would have liked to see me make that into a, an actual series. But, oh well, it's too late now. There are several videos of that one, all in a series though. If you're interested in that, they kind of fly by at four times normal speed, sometimes even more, and there's no narration. But the very last one is pretty cool. Then I got into making tutorials that people really did like to see, such as my remote tech tutorial, my how to use fairings, my Rendezvous direct from the surface, and then version two of Rendezvous direct from the surface, which is a little bit harder, but is a lot better. How to use robotics. I also threw in there some fun things like my Maven recreation and flyby, my NASA Morpheus Moonlander creation and flyby. Not flyby, the Moonlander landed. That's what it's supposed to do. I did some deconstructing satellite stuff and couple other things like that. And then I began Project Gateway. And I think that that's probably where a lot of you came from, because when I put Gateway version, uh, not version, episode number one online, it immediately got like 5,000 views, which I know it's not a lot, but it was a lot to me. It still is a lot to me. I've only got nearly 5,000 subscribers, so 5,000 views on a video like that. Back then, when I was making brand new videos for Project Gateway, I was measuring it in terms of how long it took me to get to 300 views on many of those episodes. Now I get 300 views in the first few minutes. It's come a long way, and it's pretty awesome, I'll tell you. What do we have next? So in the middle of Project Gateway, I threw in an optimizing your fuel tutorial. And then that finished up and we moved into Project Odyssey. And in the middle of Project Odyssey, I did a couple real solar system launches. I did a Proton launch to put up Zerya, as well as then an STS-88 launch to put Unity up and dock it. I had no plans of doing an actual RSS version of the ISS, though. At least, not at the time. Sometimes I do get that urge to do it again, but do it in RSS. There are a lot more interesting parts these days. If I wanted to do something like that, I think it could be really cool. And I'll bet you guys would like that because I would make a lot of shuttle launches. If I'm going to do it in RSS and make it full scale, I'm going to make it realistic. And that's going to include doing shuttles. 
Then I took a break and I went to the Johnson Space Center and I posted my trip up there. Not a lot of people have seen that one though. I was kind of curious why people didn't want to see the Johnson Space Center, but hey, to each their own. Around episode 17 of Project Odyssey was when I did my first actual Star Trek style full 42 minute episode of nothing but interludes and that drew a mixed reviews. For the most part, everybody was like, oh my god, this is crazy good, do this every week. And then I had uh, one or two fans that were like, this is the worst thing you've ever done, don't ever do anything like this again. And then, of course, we move up into 025 and my first look, and now my AMA series has begun, and pretty soon I might throw an extra series in there as well. But anyway, it's been an interesting year, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the next year. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts. <laughs>